A while back I built this electric motorized longboard that still works to this day. But over time I noticed the biggest mechanical weak spot of the system, which is this one bolt connection to the truck. So the question is, how can I improve the stability of this joint? And the answer is all over the internet. What I need is a weld. And luckily I recently found this old microwave whose high voltage transformer can more or less be easily converted into a high current transformer that could function as a stick welder. So in this video let's do this transformation, have some fun with high current tests and see whether I'm capable of creating a weld in the end. Let's get started. First off, I removed all the screws that held the top cover of the microwave into place and took it off afterwards. On the right side you can already see all the interesting electronics components that we can salvage. I started with the main control PCB which contains a useful relay and a couple of high power resistors. Then followed the main power cord, the thermal fuse, a small light bulb, a cooling fan, the magnetron which contains two rather big and useful magnets, a high voltage capacitor with a high voltage diode, a timer relay, limit switches, an AC motor and finally the long anticipated transformer. In addition to the removed screws I would say that a couple of those components will be helpful in the future. But for now let's focus on the transformer. Its top label warns us about high voltage. And from the side we can see the two main coils of the system. The lower one is the primary coil which directly hooks up two mains voltage with its two terminals. The upper one is the secondary coil which creates a high voltage between its output pin and the iron core of the transformer. As a first test I used my auto transformer to power the primary coil with an AC RMS voltage of around 2 volts. This resulted in a voltage of 17.2 volts AC on the output of the secondary coil, which means the transformer has a theoretical transformation ratio of 8.6. Thus our transformer usually outputs around 2 kV, which is definitely not our goal during this project. We want high current instead. So we need to replace the secondary coil. For that I firstly removed the protective paper plastic layer and then slowly and carefully cut through the middle of the coil on both sides and removed the excess copper strings along the way. After a clear separation of the coil sides was established I used my rotary tool with a cutting wheel to trim off all the excess copper in order to create a flat surface. Then I used my drill to create holes inside the coil and remove the remaining copper by pulling it out. All in all, this process was rather tedious and time consuming, but in the end it worked out just fine. For the last step, I removed the additional low voltage coil and used my screwdriver with a hammer to knock out the two shunts right above the primary coil. Then I grabbed 2 meters of 70 square millimeter thick wire and formed the new secondary coil by winding the conductor two times around the iron core. Afterwards the high current transformer was complete and produces around 1.7 volts AC on the outputs, which is even safe to touch. So it was time to head out and perform some tests with two aluminum plates, whose material is similar to those of the trucks and motor mounts. I connected one side of the secondary coil directly to the sheets, while the other side was hooked up to universal pencil electrodes. But all I got in the end were only a couple of sparks and a current flow of around 60 amps. And even by using a special aluminum electrode, no electric arcs were seen. The reason is the low output voltage which might be useful if you want to heat up a coin or a nail or a piece of metal or even a brush, but it is not suited for arc welding. That is why I had a plan B which is a transformer from a different microwave. Again, I removed the secondary coil of it in pretty much the same manner as before, except that I used my rotary tool with a cutting wheel right from the start. After I successfully knocked out the shunts from this transformer as well, I used 16 square millimeter wire to form a new secondary coil with a total of 8 windings, 4 inner ones and 4 outer ones, 
which resulted in an output voltage of around 7.5 volts AC. So once again I hooked up one side directly to the material and the other side to the pencil electrodes. But the results were still unsatisfactory with the universal electrodes. The aluminum electrode on the other hand showed a bit of potential, but still no successful welds. Maybe a bit more voltage, another kind of pencil electrodes and someone who actually knows how to weld could make this work. But I hope you still enjoyed watching this failed attempt and maybe I will improve this project in the future. As always don't forget to like, share and subscribe, that would be awesome. Consider supporting me through Patreon to keep such videos coming, stay creative and I will see you next time.